Hey everyone, Liam here and welcome to this match preview and prediction for the match between Stefanos Tsitsipas and Andy Murray in the second round of Wimbledon. Let's get into it. Before we get into it, if you enjoy the content on the channel, please like and subscribe. It really helps us grow the tennis section community. I'm also heading off to Wimbledon this year, maybe once, twice, maybe even three times over the course of the next week and a half. So there's going to be some vlogs coming onto the channel, so make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with that. Well, we have a very interesting battle here in the second round already. Obviously, we knew it straight from the draw ceremony that there would be a potential matchup for maybe Andy Murray against Dominic Thiem or Andy Murray against Stefanos Tsitsipas, and we've got Andy Murray against Stefanos Tsitsipas. Obviously, two players who I'd say, you know, they, they respect each other, but whenever they've played matches against each other, it hasn't been the most uh, most drama-free sort of situation. Um, it's going to be quite interesting here, obviously, because both players had completely opposite first-round matches. Andy Murray was lucky to be playing on uh, on centre court uh, in front of Roger Federer, you know, when he, on, on, on the, the second day and, you know, got through his match in straight sets, so he didn't have any issues there. It was quite, it was quite an easy win, I would say. And Murray was playing really good tennis, to be honest. He was varying things up. He was coming into the net. He was shown, shown to much better tennis that I've seen from him at Wimbledon over the last few years. Um... On the other hand, you know, Dominic team against Stefano Tsitsipas was a completely different matchup. Uh, they only managed to play a set and a half yesterday and uh, and it got interrupted, obviously, due to the rain and everything was a bit chaotic. But they came back on court and obviously, you know, it went to a fifth set tie break and my goodness, Stefano Tsitsipas won it with a good forehand uh, down the line winner to win it to 10-8. But that was a very tight encounter. And Dominic Team, you know, he could have won that match, I think, if he would have been a little bit better and a little bit higher up in consistency with his first serve percentage towards the latter end of the match. But he played very well. He, he saved some match points. And you know what? Stefano Tsitsipas managed to still stay composed, even though Dominic had managed to save those match points along the way. Coming into this match, the head-to-head -head is 1-1. One and one. Their first match, I believe, was at the 2021 US Open, where, I mean, that was just a drama match. It was a five-set It was a five -set match. There was a lot of drama about toilet break length and just really, you know, a little bit of bitterness from both players back and forth. Not really saying anything, but you could just tell the tension was there. Stefanos edged that one in five sets. Uh, and then they played another match last year in Stuttgart where Murray actually won in straight sets and that was on grass. So that's, you know, that's a very good match to look at to when you're comparing coming into this one. Especially with this grass season that Tsitsipas has had so far, I think he's two and four. He's only won a couple matches. One, I believe, uh, was against Barre where he came back from a set and a breakdown to win it in three sets. And this one was obviously against Dominic Team winning in five sets. But the other matches he's played, he's lost to Hanfman, he's lost to uh, Gasquet, and he's lost a couple of more matches and you know he's not really really been playing too much great tennis I think Murray coming into this one has a very good chance especially because Murray was able to play his match on Tuesday have no issues in terms of schedule because he was on center court so he he had a very rest free uh, a restful sorry uh, Wednesday managed to recover get himself ready while Tsitsipas had to worry about finishing a match even winning a match from a set down and now he's got to have to recover get himself ready get a game plan ready for his match now that's tomorrow against Andy Murray so I think everything leads you know Stefanos obviously is is the, is the fifth seed he's coming in here obviously you know he's got a big serve amazing forehand the backhand side is what I'm worried about Murray's just consistent on all sides obviously he's not as good as he used to be but I think when consistency is a bit more key on the backhand side for Murray and Tsitsipas is going to struggle on that side the crowd's going to be on Murray's side Murray's going to have a little bit more rest and recovery than Tsitsipas I think everything should be pointing towards Murray to take the upset here to be honest and I'm looking forward to it I really hope to see an upset here because it'd be great for, for tennis to see Murray playing at his best level again but Tsitsipas can definitely push it far I'm thinking Murray wins the this match in four sets, could be five sets, but you never know, it's going to be a tight one.